So on now to an incredible team that we've had the privilege of working with, you know, just throughout this pandemic, which I think has been, you know, a trying time for all of us. But we want to welcome once again the team from Master Provisions, because as soon as we get through the Thanksgiving holiday, there's this thing called Giving Tuesday. What is Giving Tuesday, Roger? <laughs> Giving Tuesday is your opportunity to double the impact of your generosity. So this year, thanks to a matching gift from Shelly Shear at, at Shear Cosmetic and Family Dentistry, the first $4,000 are doubled. So every dollar that's donated is gonna help 10 people instead of just five people. You know, you do feel good for some reason when you give and you know, there's more that comes from that because you know, then a small gift makes a big difference. Yeah. Cool. Absolutely. All right, so Meg, uh, Megan's kind of shy here, but I know that <laughs> there you have just had an incredible year where people have needed your services more than anything. Absolutely. And I know you kind of do outreach in there. Tell mm -hmm. us a little about your role and what you're seeing. Absolutely, absolutely. So since COVID, March 2020, uh, we have seen an increase of 70% more people that we are feeding every month. So that's 68,000 people through uh, over 230 nonprofit agencies. And we have been truly blessed by ABLE. God has blessed us with surplus food that we are able to provide. So those nonprofits, uh, you, you mentioned earlier, you, you don't know how valuable your health is until you lose it. And our goal is to feed those that uh, truly need that support. Yeah, so Roger, we have um, just a little video of some of the outreach that you do. For people not familiar with Master Provisions, how do you reach those people? What do you do? Our primary goal is showing the love of Jesus, which means not judging somebody, but helping somebody. And so we collect high quality surplus food, distribute it to people in need through nonprofit partners that may run soup kitchens, food pantries, senior feeding programs, school backpack programs, residential care programs. And in total, as Megan mentioned, it assists a staggering 68,000 people every single month. Our team's fantastic, we're volunteer driven. Megan's like the best development director. And I just have the privilege of seeing all this operate. And it's Jesus first, others second, yourself last. That's what servanthood is. And that's what we're all about at Master Provisions. So, you know, he, here even as a philosophy of this show, we believe we are physical, emotional, and spiritual beings. But I know that, I mean, to have 70% increase, that's, I mean, that's huge. How or what are you seeing? Like, who are those people? They're people that a lot of times they're trapped in generational poverty or a situation that is not of their own making. They may have lost a job. They may not have an income to keep up with increasing food prices. Mm -hmm. So it's a matter, it's all across the spectrum. It spreads out to 51 counties, mostly right here in greater Cincinnati as the epicenter of need. And we're there to help. Uh, and it doesn't matter if it's a faith-based group or not faith Based because hunger doesn't have any boundaries. We're here to help to be a pillar in our community to show God's love in a real and practical way. Mm -hmm. All right, so Meg, with Giving Tuesday mm -hmm. coming up, um, certainly you need people to give financially, but you also are based on a group of volunteers. Have those been able to come back yet? Or? Yes, absolutely. I wish uh, I had a photo to show you of <laughs> yesterday of volunteers packing Thanksgiving boxes uh, that were used for Thanksgiving. Um, and yes, so volunteers have come back in full force uh, and then we are really trying to um, be uh, cognizant of regulations that are currently in place. But yes, volunteers daily, they actually process every food item that comes through our door every morning. Volunteers um, are who we rely on to go through that food and get it out to those in need. Mm, excellent. Okay, Roger, if we want to give on Giving Tuesday, which believe it or not is coming up in just a couple of days, um, we have a kind of a graphic that you guys made just to let people know, but how do we do that? How do we give? Go online to www.masterprovisions.org, hit the donate button, and give as you're led to give, realizing that every dollar is going to be doubled for that first $4,000 given. And that would set an all-time record for us if we reach that threshold. So please give as you're led to give. That's the gift that's the right gift. You know, and I know uh, it's been a tough year for nonprofits, has it not? Yes, it has. Our volunteerism has come back, but we see many of our partners who have really struggled. So we've tried to provide more food and been able to do that. We simply say, make space for God and He'll fill it. He fills it on our warehouse, in our hearts, and we spread that love to the community. 
Whether it's Christmas, whether it's Thanksgiving week that just passed one of our busiest weeks, every day all year long, needs don't stop and neither do we. Yeah, and you mentioned that groceries are really pricey right now, so thanks for what you're doing. And as always, thanks for just being part of uh, the ministry here. Thank you, Liz. Thanks, yeah, Liz. Thank we you. appreciate, appreciate you guys you. very much.